morning everybody and welcome back yes as you can see I have not vacuumed in here this will happen after I get off work today this is the result of and honestly it looks bad but it's not as bad because there was a rack there so that was all in the rack this is just done in the process of moving plants out this, of course, there was a rack right here, and I'm sweeping out all behind here because I'm replacing a humid. Well, I'm not replacing it. I'm sort of testing one out. And so this is all sort of was covered up with a rack. Of course, there was a rack over here, so I am sweeping under here, and that's what this is. I still have to move. I'm going to try to get under that. Well, I, I'm going to. I'm going to get the vacuum in here. That's what I'm doing. But I'm just making little piles now. And of course, there was a rack here. So that explains the mess that is still in the greenhouse. But let me take this out first. And then I'm going to show you why I'm up in here. I really want to show you my Phalaenopsis wall because I'm really happy with it. It's not really permanent. It's just temporary for the summer, but I have it under this shade cloth. I think some of the browning on some of these leaves, well, that was already brown, but I think that was the result of, uh, this was all uncovered during the winter. I really like, I've repotted a lot, most of these and have moved them up higher. Um, there's that, I did repot that, my Shilariana. Hopefully that will be doing okay. Um, yeah, and I did repot my Mak Chao Yu. But today, this open, which is of course, Angrecum Joyce Stewart, which is a cross between Angrecum Scatina and Angrecum. Cucolatum. And I actually happen to have the Scottina that has a bud on it out on the out in the porch outside. But this is really beautiful. Really small miniature plant. Uh, very floriferous. It is sequential. Hopefully that is in focus. I can't really tell. My glasses are so dirty that I can't really tell. But there are two more spikes on here. Both of these species that comprise of this hybrid are from Madagascar. They are both miniatures. Um, there is, could be another bud back there developing that's on the same spike. Like I said, they are sequential. Um, very long lasting, well, they are long lasting flower as long as they are kept in a shady location. They do like shade in nature morning sun, dappled, dappled sun, and then shadish conditions. In the afternoon, they like hot conditions, hot to warm, uh, but they can stand a wide range of temperatures. Um, they do like water year round. They are a banda type, so they don't like to dry out. You guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we'll see you soon bye